Hello again guys, right as you can tell, backpack on, 10 kilos of unnecessary weight, got some sandwiches, uh, got a couple of litres of water and we're out again on another one of our 10 mile training hikes. This time we're not on the coast, we're heading down uh, into the new forest and uh, we're going to try out some different terrain, see if we can find some wild food on the way. Probably won't be eating it just in case I poison myself but it'll uh, give me a chance to try and identify stuff that I can eat. Now funny enough, what we've got here, if you can see that, that's dandelion leaves. Dandelion leaves are great. It's like a salad and it's free. So uh, we'll be looking out for loads of that on the way. We've also got, I know you can see this down here. That's uh, stinging nettles. Makes a lovely cup of tea. So uh, that's two I can identify. Just gotta work out the rest of the stuff I can eat. So uh, I'll catch you a bit further up the road. Oh, my hair is terrible. I didn't get around to cut my hair. We forgot about it when we got in after that hike last time. So I need to find someone who's good with some clippers and uh, we'll get this mop shaved off. But uh, yeah, so I'll catch up with you a little bit further down the road here. See, the silly thing about filming this whole thing myself is to get some of the shots. Unfortunately, I have to set the camera up and then I have to walk back and then go and play the damn thing. So I'm probably going to end up doing a lot more miles than I really need to. So, nature of the game. It wouldn't be a challenge otherwise. Okay, well I've walked a little bit further up the road there. I'm still right on the road, so let's wait for this car to go past. Now I found something that um, again I think is edible. I'm not going to try it though, I'm going to check it out when I get home. So I'm going to take some footage just to make sure. Uh, I saw it, saw it on, uh, online last night on a YouTube video and it looks a little bit like a dandelion except the leaves are slightly different. So just to be on the safe side I'm going to just shoot some video of it. We'll go and check it out and then we'll see if I can potentially use this as a way of sustaining myself whilst on the trek. Right, as you can see, that's an apple tree. Here's the apples. It's wild and you can eat it. Happy days. Another great fruit that you can find out in the, uh, in the wild here in the UK is of course blackberries. Now this one, unfortunately, is red, which means you can't eat it, it's not ripe. It's also the wrong time of year because it's now November and uh, the season's well and truly finished and it's very popular in the UK so quite often people come out scomping them, packing them, making pies out of them. But uh, hopefully spring next year, summer next year, there'll be loads of those around so I'll be able to have those and supplement my diet with blackberries. <laughs> it's going to be a walk in the park. Ah, 
I tell you what, I mean, I've only walked a few steps, literally just a few steps, and I found these things. Now, I know that these are edible, because again, I saw it on YouTube last night. You have to be careful with the seeds because they're quite pungent, and you usually mulch it down into sort of like a paste, and then eat the paste, but apparently it's very, very, very good for you and full of vitamin C, so, you know, there's lots and lots to eat out here if you just know what to look for. Amazing. Amazing. Huh. This is a whole bush full of them. Now this is what I mean about not testing something unless you're absolutely certain that you know what it is. Now I identified a yellow plant that looked a bit like a dandelion earlier on but the leaves didn't quite look right to me. Just wait for this car. But what I found here is, um, is what I think I, I was trying to identify. It's not a dandelion, it's something else but it looks more like what I was expecting to see. Uh, so I'll just show you that and we'll go and we'll, we'll go and check it out when we get back and uh, and see if I've identified this one correctly as opposed to the one that I did further down the road. Right, according to the map, this one, OS map, which aren't, they're probably the best in the world, but they're still not that, not, not that accurate. Apparently, there's supposed to be a path about here, uh, and it looks like it's completely overgrown with gauze and, and stuff. So either I've missed it somehow, or it just ain't there anymore. Uh, that's okay, there's supposed to be another path a bit further up, we'll see if we can find that one, if not we're just going to have to uh, uh, orienteer it and uh, go a little off road, eh? Wow, I am so out of practice with orienteering, it's incredible. Well, we definitely missed that path back there, but I think it was overgrown, so I'm gonna have a word with OS in terms of update their bleeding maps. I'm um, out actually now in the forest, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The sun's gone behind a cloud, but whatever, this is England. Now, what I'm doing is to try and make sure that I know exactly where I am. I'm using the lay of the land, so where you've got the troughs and, and the hills and stuff. I'm trying to find those on the map so I can basically determine exactly where I am. I think I know where I am, and I think there's a junction coming up which I need to take to the left. So we'll carry on down this, this path here and, uh, and we'll see what happens, shall we?
Right, uh, now, I've been looking for a junction uh, in the trail here in the forest, and I think I found it. According to the map that I plotted, the route I plotted on the map here, there should be uh, like a crossroads type type thing uh, with one track heading north and one track heading south. I need to head south. It also indicates on the map here that I'm heading downhill towards Forest Brook Farm. I can't see a farm from here, but there's definitely two tracks. So I've got to be in the right place. So uh, I'm going to head down the hill now and uh, we'll see if we can find this farm. When I get to the farm, I need to take a left and follow the perimeter around. So uh, hopefully not too bad, but the, I'll tell you what, the views are amazing. I'm going to get this for eight months. Not many people can say that. It's going to be beautiful. It's also going to be wet and cold and windy and miserable at the same time, but you know, rough with the smooth, rough with the smooth. Right, I don't know if you can see that down there at the bottom of the hill, but that's the farm that I was just talking about. So, uh, this is definitely the right place and my orienteering skills aren't quite as rusty as I thought, so that's cool. Yeah, we missed that first trail, we picked it up again, so that's the important thing. As long as I can keep doing that while I'm trekking, trekking around, uh, around certainly Scotland, where I may be in land a couple of times, probably for a few days, I could get seriously lost. But feeling more confident, definitely feeling more confident. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the bottom of the hill. Just, uh, just met a, a lovely, lovely lady who was uh, taking a horsey out for a ride here in the forest, and uh, we had a little chat. And she's going to go check out the uh, the Coastal Trek website, which is brilliant, and possibly even donate some money towards the cause. So uh, happy days! Now, should have read the map a little bit closer because it does indicate on here that there's a small stream or river passing by, uh, and I've just found it. So somehow I've got to get across. Uh, I may end up getting slightly wet here, so this, this could be interesting and certainly going to be worth videoing. Oh no. Okay. Okay, that's doable. That's doable. Well, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Beautiful out here, don't it? Beautiful. Now, you may remember from uh, earlier on when I uh, picked up those big red berries. You, you remember those? that were edible, as long as they're prepared correctly and mulched down into like a smoothie type thing. Now these, these up here, these berries, just behind me, I don't know if you can see that, there they are. These are poisonous. You don't eat those. It's uh, a holly fruit from the, the holly tree. And uh, yeah, they, they can give you very, very, very bad upset stomach. So uh, I will not be eating those.
Right, well, somehow I've gone off the track again. It just goes to show that these OS maps aren't as accurate as uh, you'd like them to be. Some of the uh, less trodden tracks are uh, no longer very visible. Um, but the difference between being lost and not being lost is being able to determine when you've gone off track and then locating yourself on the map to find out exactly where you are. I know exactly where I am because this path here takes a giant arc round. Now I'm supposed to be heading that way. So I've managed to locate that where I think I am on the map. Uh, sure enough, there's a, a, a curve in, in the path, the dotted line here. So I now know that I need to head that way and see if I can pick up the trail again. I hope Scotland's not gonna be this bad. So there you go, there's the proof. You can just see behind me, that's the trail that I should have come up. I've actually come up from uh, up that way. But because I realized where I was, or where I wasn't, should I say, I was able to pick up the trail very, very quickly and get back on route again. So now I've got to go that way. And then I'm going to stop for some lunch and uh, probably head home because we, yeah, we're about halfway now. So. Um... Unfortunately, the camera's not going to pick up much more of this trip because I've only got seven minutes. We need to sort this out before the journey. We need to get a decent camera with a decent battery. Uh, but I think, I think I'm going to have lunch in a minute and then carry on. Why aren't I using one of those? <laughs> Why don't I go around the UK on a microlight? No, I've got to do it the hard way. Walk. Maybe next time.